Good afternoon, Oshin. Good afternoon. Okay, so we will do sentence construction in this video. Yes, we also call it sentence structure. Okay. Uh, so will it has to do no, it has more to do with parallelism mm -hmm. and the choice of word. So you say it's got to go sentence structure. Yes. And it has a lot to do with uh, parallelism. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. So let's go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. This is the error where which we see in sentence construction or sentence structure. So what you're saying is when a single verb controls multiple phrases, yeah. those phrases must, must be, be constructed in the same grammatical form. If they're not, then there is an error. Okay. Okay. So imitate someone's success is not the same as duplicating it. To imitate someone's success is not the same as duplicating it. So we it. have two phrases. One yes. is to imitate. To imitate. Second is duplicating. Is duplicating. So, so it will be uh, either imitate. imitating someone's success is not the same as duplicating it or to imitate someone's success is not the same as to duplicate That's it. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. Let's move then. We, we've done something very similar yes, in another video. Yes, we did when we did comparison as well. Yes, yes. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. The parallel structure. Yeah. Now we also did this that when when we have a list in the sentence, the verbs in every list should be in the same grammatical structure. The verbs in same grammatical structure. Yes. Okay. So if you go to the example, it says a melody is a succession of single tones. You sing this one. Yeah. A melody is a succession of single tones that vary in pitch, harmony, harmony and, and rhythm. rhythm. So pitch is noun. Yeah. Harmony is noun. Noun. And rhythm is noun. Yes. So that means they're in the same grammatical form. Yes. Therefore, the sentence is right. This is correct because all are nouns. Right. A melody is a succession of single tones that vary in pitch, harmony, and rhythm. All are right. right. Absolutely. So the second sentence says, By the time he was 30, Mozart, Mozart had, had not, not only, only composed sonnets, but has also performed before royalty. So it says, Not only composed. Yeah. So composed is verb but had also performed and performed this verb. Yeah. So that means uh, verbs are in the same grammatical form. Yeah. List is in the same, comparison is in the same grammatical form. Yeah. Therefore, this is the right sentence. So, uh, just just, just uh, hmm. one thing. Hmm. When you say not only, we always say that also. Shouldn't we like but also had or but had no, also? No, but had also is also right. This is also fine? Yes. Okay, yes. so but also had was also would have been correct? Yes. Okay, so this is correct, this is correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. Okay. We did this also. Yeah. When we talk about gerunds, mm -hmm. words and phrases. Right. So, Korean likes singing, dancing, and acting. Yeah, they are a parallel. Singing. I -N -G, I -N -G, I -N -G. So that means these are gerunds. Do you remember what are gerunds? When yes. a verb behaves as like a noun. As a verb behaves as a noun. Is gerund. Yeah. Mary and likes to sing. To dance and to act. To mm -hmm. act. Yeah, parallel. So they are infinitive forms of verb. Yes. So that means parallel. Infinitive form. They are parallel. But if we say Mary likes singing, dancing, and to act, this is not parallel. This is not parallel. Parallel. Singing, dancing, and acting. So to act will not go with singing and dancing. So it just put an acting. Right. So yes. Yeah. We already have done this, so. Yeah, we we've done yes. we've done most of this. I I'm I'm forgetting the video number, but perhaps uh, the viewers can actually go and just search for it. Yes, when we did the comparison. We, we have done the comparison. We done this yes. right. Should we go to the next slide? Yes. Okay, the senten mm -hmm. sentence mm -hmm. construction error. Yeah, so move. I do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, you're breaking glasses here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me just go back. Yes. Go one more step down. Go one back. more? Yeah. Okay, not go Yes, here. The director told the actors that they should get a lot of sleep. This is a clause? Yeah. Okay. So, what is in this clause? They should get a lot of sleep. They should get a lot of sleep. Second clause is... the clause. Yeah. Yeah. So, second clause is, they should not eat too much. They should not eat too much. And the third clause is, to do some to practice. To do some practice. Before they play. Yeah. So, now we have, they should get a lot of sleep. They, they should, should not, not eat too much. And to do. And to do. So, that yeah. means it's not parallel. Not parallel. So, how might we correct it? We can just convert either this okay. not into somehow... Into they should. They should. They should do some practice before the play. Yes. So that it, it is parallel. So let's just see how it becomes parallel. Yeah. In the next slide. Okay, we'll just put it. The director told the actors that they should get a lot of sleep. 
that they should not eat too much and that they should do some practice before the play. The play. So yes. They should, they, they should, should, and, and they, they should. should, which it wasn't there. Right. This wasn't here. You can notice it. This yeah. has come in, and that's why it becomes correct. Correct. Okay. This one was wrong. Alright. So let's see the next slide. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. The dictionary can be used for. Can be used. Can be used to find. Can you remove this far from you? Can be used to find to find word meanings, pronunciations, correct spellings, and looking up irregular verbs. You can notice here word meanings now. Pronunciations now, yeah, correct spellings now, <coughs> and, and looking, looking up, up word is a verb. So you have a noun, you have a noun, noun, and a verb. Right. So how might we connect it? The dictionary can be used to find word meanings, pronunciations, correct spellings, and irregular verbs. Verbs, right? We cannot also write to look up irregular no. words. That's also wrong because to That's look up is also, is also a verb. So and just irregular verbs yeah. is just fine. Just irregular. So verbs. let's just have a look at the answer. Yeah. The dictionary can be used for these purposes. To find word meanings, pronunciations, right spellings, and irregular, irregular words. words. Perfect. So this becomes, so this becomes correct, mm -hmm. and this is wrong. As I said, noun, 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 verb. And yeah. This is absolutely fine. That is right. Yeah. So you understood this now? I've understood. I so should we go to the next slide? I guess we're through with the sentence. Okay. Correction. So you, we are through with the sentence correction, uh, mm -hmm. construction. Construction, and uh, with that, we through with the basic errors of sentence uh, correction. That is uh, modifiers, mm -hmm. pronouns. Okay, okay, so let me just put it down. What we've done is we've done modifiers. Right. We have done modifiers. We have done pronouns. pronouns. We did subject verb agreement. We have done subject verb agreement. We did comparison. Agreement. And we've done comparisons. Now we did tenses. We finished with tenses. And this was sentence structure. And we've we just done sentence in. construction. And we left with idioms. Or tenses. Idioms, which I've been told, is all about memorizing. Yeah. So we'll do that. In so we this we have to still do. And Viewers have to make sure that they watch out for the idioms. So we've completed one, we'll two, give three. We'll the frequently seen four, idioms on Jena. Five, six. What we are going to do is we are going to look at frequently seen. Frequently seen idioms in Jaina. Is there any way of seeing having a complete list of whatever idioms there come? Is that, is that possible? Yes, we have a list. But what we'll do right now is the frequently seen idioms on Jaina. Okay. We'll do that, and then after that we'll do the sentence correction strategy. Perfect. So that means we'll uh, try to apply all these errors in the sentence, or maybe one by one apply these uh, errors in the sentence. And right. Um, uh, let's see how we correct those errors. Okay, so what you're saying is we've done modifiers, we've done pronouns. What we do now is also, after we've done the idioms, right. we'll also look at some questions right. on modifiers, on questions of pronouns, on subject verb agreement, comparison, right. and, and so on and so on. Right, so we'll do the strategy for all these. Perfect. Okay. Thanks a lot, Nashin. Thank uh, we have to cover idioms in the next video. Yes, we'll Thank do you that. very much. Thank you.